Forces acting on bodies in a flow field may be of interest. To show how to monitor these forces and force coefficients, we can use this case as an example. We are going to simulate a cylinder immersed in an airstream and monitor forces acting on the cylinder surface. The cylinder is 0.2 meters long and has radius 0.1 meters. Boundary conditions for this simulation are the following. Inlet is here, and outlet is here. All the other boundaries are walls. If we have everything set up, we can go straight to the monitors panel and switch to the forces tab. In this tab, we should select boundaries on which we want to monitor forces. We are interested in values of forces acting on the cylinder, so we need to select the cylinder boundary from the list. Then we can simply go to the run panel, type start time, time step and end time and click the run simulation button. The simulation has started and we can see two extra tabs here. One shows forces in three directions and the second one shows moments of force, in other words torques, acting on the cylinder. It's important to remember that if you use an incompressible flow solver, you have to multiply values of forces and torques by the fluid density to get values in newtons and newton meters respectively. The reason for this is that incompressible flow solvers use so-called kinematic pressure, which is pressure in pascals divided by the fluid density. Therefore, the values reported here are also divided by the fluid density and, in this particular case, we should multiply these values by air density to calculate physical forces and torques. If we now interrupt this simulation, we can easily read monitored values here. There is also a possibility to monitor force coefficients. So let's reset the simulation, go back to the monitors panel and check the checkbox next to monitor coefficients. A few additional fields need to be filled in here. And now we can specify lift and drag directions. For this particular case, as you can see in the graphic window, we can specify lift in the Z direction and drag in the Y direction. We can also specify pitch axis and center of rotation if we are interested in torques. But we are going to monitor only lift and drag coefficients, so we can omit these fields. Coefficients monitored here are calculated so that force and torque are divided by the reference length, area and dynamic pressure. Therefore, we have to specify reference length, for example, the length of the cylinder, and reference area, which is a cross-sectional area of the cylinder. So, we can use the following formula to calculate the reference area. 2 times radius, which is the diameter of the cylinder, multiplied by the length of the cylinder. Because dynamic pressure is also required to calculate coefficients, we have to specify reference velocity. For example, velocity of the free stream, which is 30 meters per second in this particular case. Now we can go to the run panel and start the simulation once again. As you can see, the result is a little bit different. Only one tab appeared here. If we switch to this tab, we can read force coefficients, CM, CL and CD. These are torque, lift and drag coefficients respectively. This way we can monitor how the coefficients change in time or with iterations in steady state cases. If we interrupt, we can also read the values which are shown here in the console.